the Atlantic bluefin tuna, a name that echoes with power and majesty. This fish is a true titan of the sea. They can grow to immense sizes, some even tipping the scales over 1,000 pounds. That's bigger than a grizzly bear. These incredible creatures are renowned for their speed, strength, and beauty. They are torpedoes of pure muscle, built for speed and endurance. Imagine a creature that can cross entire oceans, migrating thousands of miles each year. For centuries, these fish were a common sight in the waters around the British Isles. Fishermen would regale each other with tales of their battles with these powerful creatures. But in recent decades, overfishing took its toll. The bluefin tuna population declined and sightings in UK waters became rare. But there is hope on the horizon. In recent years, there have been encouraging signs. Bluefin tuna are once again being spotted in increasing numbers around the UK. The bluefin tuna's return to UK waters is nothing short of a conservation success story. Years of dedicated effort have paid off and these magnificent creatures are reclaiming their rightful place in the ecosystem. From the rugged coast of Cornwall to the windswept shores of Scotland, the bluefin are back. Anglers from across the UK and beyond flock to these waters, eager for a chance to encounter these underwater giants. The thrill of the chase, the adrenaline rush of the fight, and the sheer awe of witnessing these creatures in their natural habitat are experiences like no other. The return of the bluefin has also breathed new life into coastal communities. Charter boats are in high demand, tackle shops are bustling and local economies are reaping the benefits. But this newfound prosperity comes with a responsibility to ensure that the bluefin's return is a sustainable one. For anglers, the pursuit of the bluefin tuna is more than just a fishing trip, it's an adventure. It's a test of skill, patience and determination. The quest begins long before the boat leaves the harbour. Anglers meticulously prepare their tackle, choosing rods and reels capable of withstanding the immense power of a bluefin. They spool their reels with hundreds of yards of heavy-duty line, knowing that these fish are capable of long, powerful runs. Next comes the selection of lures. Massive, lifelike imitations of mackerel, herring or squid are carefully chosen to entice the tuna. Finally, with their gear prepped and their spirits high, the anglers set sail. When it comes to bluefin tuna fishing in the UK, one location stands out. The emerald waters off the coast of Ireland. This region, particularly the area around County Cork, has become a hot spot for anglers seeking a chance to tangle with these ocean giants. The waters here are teeming with life thanks to the confluence of the warm Gulf Stream and the cold Atlantic currents. This creates a rich ecosystem that supports a diverse range of marine species, including the bluefin tuna's favourite prey. But the appeal of Irish waters goes beyond just the abundance of fish. The rugged beauty of the coastline, the charm of the local fishing villages and the warm hospitality of the Irish people all add to the allure. It's an experience that stays with anglers long after they've landed their catch. Imagine setting sail from a picturesque harbour, the salty air whipping through your hair as the boat cuts through the waves. Venturing further north, the waters surrounding the Isles of Scilly offer another prime location for UK bluefin tuna fishing. These remote islands, scattered off the southwestern tip of England, are renowned for their pristine waters and abundant marine life. Here, the bluefin tuna patrol the deep channels and underwater canyons. Their sleek forms a blur of silver and blue as they hunt for prey. The dramatic underwater topography with its steep drop-offs and rocky reefs provides the perfect habitat for these predators to ambush their prey. For anglers, the challenge and excitement of fishing these waters are unparalleled. The unpredictable weather, strong currents and the sheer size and power of the bluefin tuna all combine to create an unforgettable angling experience. But it's not just the thrill of the chase that draws anglers to the Isles of Scilly. The islands themselves are a haven of peace and tranquility, with their white sand beaches, crystal clear waters and abundance of seabirds. Timing is everything when it comes to bluefin tuna fishing in the UK. 
These migratory fish are most commonly encountered in British waters during the warmer months from late summer to early autumn. This is when the waters are at their warmest and the tuna are at their most active, feeding voraciously in preparation for their long migration south. The arrival of the bluefin tuna coincides with an explosion of life in the surrounding waters. Schools of baitfish, such as mackerel, herring and sardines, swarm in vast numbers, attracting the hungry tuna. The sea becomes a feeding frenzy, with seabirds circling overhead and dolphins often joining the feast. For anglers, this is the moment they've been waiting for. The chance to witness this natural spectacle firsthand is a privilege. Bluefin tuna are not your average catch. These are powerful predators capable of incredible speed and endurance. Tackling a fish of this magnitude requires specialized gear meticulously chosen for its strength and reliability. First and foremost is the rod. Forget your lightweight spinning rod. Bluefin tuna fishing demands a rod built for brute strength. Anglers opt for heavy duty rods, often over seven feet long, made from high modulus graphite or fiberglass. These rods are designed to withstand the immense pressure and torque of a bluefin tuna on the line. Next comes the reel. Bluefin tuna reels are precision engineered machines capable of handling hundreds of yards of heavy duty fishing line. They feature powerful drag systems designed to tire out the fish during its powerful runs. Connecting the rod and reel is the fishing line, the angler's lifeline to the fish. Bluefin tuna anglers typically use braided lines with breaking strength exceeding 100 pounds. Choosing the right bait is crucial for enticing a bluefin tuna to strike. These predators are opportunistic feeders, drawn to large oily fish that offer a substantial meal. Anglers use a variety of baits and lures, each designed to mimic the appearance and movement of the tuna's natural prey. One popular method is trolling. Anglers drag large, lifelike lures behind the boat, mimicking the swimming action of a wounded or distressed fish. Another effective technique is chumming. This involves creating a slick of chopped fish or fish oil in the water, attracting tuna to the boat. Once the tuna are feeding on the chum, anglers present live baits such as mackerel or herring on circle hooks. The moment a bluefin tuna strikes is nothing short of electric. The line, once slack, snaps taut, the rod bends double and the reel screams as the fish explodes into a powerful run. It's a sensory overload, a surge of adrenaline that courses through the angler's veins. The initial run is often the most intense. The tuna, startled by the hook set, bolts away with incredible speed and power, stripping line from the reel with ease. The angler, caught off guard, must scramble to regain control, tightening the drag and bracing themselves for the fight ahead. The battle can last for hours, a test of strength and endurance between man and fish. The tuna will employ every trick in its arsenal, from deep dives to acrobatic leaps in a desperate attempt to shake the hook. Captain Mark Thomas, a seasoned angler with years of experience on the Irish Sea, recalls one particular encounter with a bluefin tuna that left an indelible mark on him. We were fishing a few miles off the coast of Cork, he recounts, his voice thick with the memory, when the rod in the portside holder went off like a rocket. The angler strapped into the fighting chair, a young man named Liam on his first bluefin tuna trip, looked as though he'd seen a ghost. He'd hooked into something big, something that pulled with the relentless force of a runaway train. Liam's eyes were wide with a mixture of fear and excitement. Mark chuckles. He was in for the fight of his life. The fish, a bluefin tuna that Mark estimated to be well over 600 pounds, took off on a series of blistering runs, stripping hundreds of yards of line off the reel with each surge. Liam, small in comparison to the power he was battling, hung on with grim determination, his arms burning, his back aching, but his spirit unbroken. For hours the battle raged. Mark recalls Liam against the giant. Sarah Jones, a marine biologist with a passion for angling, describes her first encounter with a bluefin tuna as a dance with destiny. 
Fishing off the Isles of Scilly, her small boat bobbed on the vast expanse of the Atlantic, she'd hooked into something truly extraordinary. It was a perfect day for fishing, Sarah recounts. The sun was shining, the sea was calm, and the air was alive with the cries of seabirds. Suddenly, the rod tip plunged down, nearly jerking the rod from my grasp. The line screamed off the reel, the sound like a siren song in the quiet vastness of the ocean. I knew instantly that this was no ordinary fish, Sarah says, her voice filled with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. This was a bluefin tuna, and a big one at that. The fight was a delicate balance between applying pressure and giving line. Sarah, acutely aware of the importance of conserving the species, was determined to tire the fish out without causing it any unnecessary harm. Section three, respect for a warrior. John O'Malley, a veteran angler, stresses the importance of respect when targeting bluefin tuna. These are not just fish, he states, they are warriors, athletes of the sea. John advocates for catch and release fishing whenever possible. Their role in the ecosystem is crucial and their numbers are recovering. He teaches proper techniques for handling bluefin tuna. It's about preserving these incredible creatures for future generations. Section four, the one that got away. Every angler has a story about the one that got away, especially with bluefin tuna. Captain Emily Carter recalls a memorable encounter with a bluefin tuna. We'd been tracking a school of tuna for hours. The fish were huge, over 800 pounds. The strike came suddenly, nearly pulling the rod from its holder. I remember the sound, Emily says. The line peeled off the reel so fast it smoked. The fish towed their boat for miles. For hours they fought, the angler strapped into the fighting chair. Just when we thought we had the upper hand, the line went slack. The hook had pulled free. A collective gasp went up from the crew. Disappointment hung heavy in the air. It was a reminder, Emily says, that we are merely visitors in the sea's domain. And sometimes the sea reminds us of its power. Bluefin tuna fishing is not for the faint of heart. It's a pursuit that demands respect for the raw power of nature, for the ocean is a fickle mistress, capable of both breathtaking beauty and terrifying fury. The open ocean offers no shelter, no respite from the elements. Anglers must contend with whatever mother nature throws at them, from scorching sun and blistering winds to torrential downpours and monstrous waves. The weather can change in an instant, transforming a calm sea into a raging torrent, Sudden squalls can whip up without warning, bringing blinding rain, howling winds, and towering waves that toss boats around like toys. It's in these moments when the full fury of the ocean is unleashed that anglers truly understand their own insignificance in the face of nature's awesome power. Navigating these treacherous conditions requires skill, experience, and a healthy dose of courage. Captains must rely on their knowledge of the local waters, their ability to read the subtle signs of an approaching storm and their gut instinct to guide their vessels and crews safely through the maelstrom. But even on the calmest days, the ocean demands respect. The relentless sun beats down, baking exposed skin and demanding constant hydration. The salty air dries out eyes and lips and the constant motion of the boat can test even the strongest stomachs. It's a challenging environment, one that pushes anglers to their physical and mental limits. Beyond the formidable challenges posed by the environment, bluefin tuna fishing presents a unique set of trials that test an angler's skill, patience and sheer determination. These fish are not easily subdued. They are masters of their domain, perfectly adapted for speed, power and endurance. The fight can last for hours, a gruelling battle of wills between angler and fish. The angler, their arms aching, their back screaming in protest, must dig deep, drawing on reserves of strength they never knew they possessed. It's a test of physical and mental fortitude, a marathon, not a sprint. The tuna, for its part, fights with every ounce of its being. It will test the limits of the angler's tackle, their lines stretched taut, their rod bent to the breaking point. The fish will run, stripping line off the reel with blistering speed. It will dive, seeking the crushing pressure of the depth. It will leap from the water, its massive body a shimmering arc against the sky, attempting to throw the hook. But the true test lies not just in physical strength, but in mental resilience. The angler must remain focused, patient and determined. 
even as fatigue sets in and doubts begin to creep in. It's a battle against not only the fish, but also against their own limitations. The resurgence of bluefin tuna in UK waters is a testament to conservation efforts. Anglers are passionate advocates for their conservation. Catch and release fishing minimizes stress on the fish. Specialized handling techniques ensure safe release. Circle hooks and quick releases maximize survival. Tagging programs gather valuable data. This data informs conservation efforts. The future depends on collaboration. Anglers are guardians of the giants, stewards of the sea. The thrill of bluefin tuna fishing in the UK is more than just a tug on a line. It's a connection to a force far greater than ourselves. Out on the open water, facing the raw power of the ocean, we gain a deeper understanding of our place in the natural world. We are not conquerors of the sea, but guests in this vast realm. The bluefin tuna embodies the wild heart of the ocean. It demands our respect, not just for its sporting qualities, but for its role in marine ecosystems. As anglers, we have a responsibility to future generations. By embracing sustainable practices, we ensure the bluefin tuna's legacy. The legacy we leave is measured by the health of our oceans. Let us be mindful stewards, ensuring the story of the bluefin tuna continues.